Hello, Assalamu alaikum friends. Welcome back to my new tutorial of our factory I have seen which is called Advanced Elevator. In this video, I am just discussing a program of Advanced Elevator factory I have seen. In my video, you will see that it is working Advanced Elevator, but uh, you will uh, you will uh, download that program from the uh, in the description of my video so first of all i am going to show you some basics inputs and outputs in it we will also see that's inputs and output in it you will see that inputs and outputs in that uh, in a factory i have seen so just see you will see i already created some inputs there are some inputs and we have some outputs you will see and we also have a digital display of a box, box counting you will see that there there is a box counting there i am just going to show you you will see that the box counting is seven so i am just going to show you some things so you will understand so first of all we have some three digital inputs which is at one at two at at three so you will see where is at one here is our at one you will see that at one so as the same at two and at three is the same you will also see the conveyor one it is our conveyor one conveyor two conveyor three and also we also have a conveyor zero there this is our conveyor zero we also have a lights you will see that but i don't use that lights in my program i need to just restart that again but uh, because it's not an original logic it's there's a problem so you will see that we also have burning lights there and you will see that we also have some sensors there you will see at entry up down slow same as like uh, uh, our elevator which is our uh, basic elevator so you will see that so we have you will also see at elevator which means there is a sensor of at elevator you will see that there there is a sensor of at elevator means it will uh, our box is at elevator cross that you will see the red sensor there is at elevator sensor and you will also see that at exit as at entry sensor there so you will see at low zero at exit at entry at low zero at low high at low one at low two at low three so you will see that here is our at low one and two. You will see at low, uh, at low, uh, sorry, at low, at low, uh, at low one and at low one high and at uh, low one two and at low at high one, at high two, at high three and at low three. You will also see that sensor there at the below there so you will see that these are our sensors of our which check where is our elevator is situated there in our and uh, that uh, elevator section so we also have some buttons but uh, you will see that there where is already running you will also see that there you will see there is a start button stop reset emergency auto you will also see the conveyor zero and exit conveyor so you will see the exit conveyor is there here is that conveyor is our exit conveyor and uh, you will see load and unload means the loading means that is uh, when uh, box reach uh, box is on the that conveyor 
it will load that and after uh, uh, and if he, I am going to activate unload it will reverse back that uh, box so that is unload and load so now going down you will also see at floor 1, floor 2, floor 3 and red light, yellow light, green light also see a display and other thing now I am just going to show you its program so what we do at the zero first we push at start button it will start our conveyor zero start light and move one value to our position value I am just uh, uh, using an internal memory there because uh, it will count uh, which uh, which we need to stop conveyor at what positions means at there at there or at there so you will see first of all it will go into 3 so you will see it will reaches the 3 so that's how now I am going to my you will see the at exit after the boss passes the exit you will see that that exit sensor is there you will see that at exit so means there here is our at exit sensor you will see that there so after the box passes at exit you will see it will set exit conveyor and set conveyor 0 also so you will see that at the position 1 what it will do at elevator means it will cross that there what it will do it will set load means it will load that uh, box to that conveyor the elevator conveyor and after the box is loaded after the box cross that at elevator it will reset our conveyor 0 and reset also our exit conveyor so after it will passes at entry so where is at entry here is our at entry after it passes an entry it will reset our load and set up means it will set up that conveyor to up you will see it will uh, it is showing yellow now so then you will see when it is reaches at low one means that sensor at low one that sensor it will reset our up and set conveyor zero means it will reset that arena and set that conveyor one so after some times you will see that after sometimes I am setting 7 seconds there it will set down our that elevator also so you will see that after the 7 seconds it will set down our conveyor also and at the conveyor you will see at P after it that object passes the conveyor it will reset that conveyor also now you will see down at low when it's going to down what it will do it will set our load also means it will cross that to there and what it will do it will move value of 2 to that there same as the down below you will see at the elevator after the box uh, same logics after the box it crosses there it will set up then after the passes set elevator it will reset our conveyor to zero reset exit and then after at entry it will reset our load set led up and you will see that after it will reaches that position it will set that conveyor and reset our up you will see the same timer logics always everything same and it will move 3 to that position so you will see now it is for the third digit position for the logics you will see everything is same the above nothing is different everything is same now you will see that and in the end you will also see what it will do it will move one to our position and our logic is start from one again means our logic is start from that position again so that's how our advanced elevator works in our uh, semi portal and here is its programs 
and in the description of the video i also give the links of that program so if you want to download uh, if you want to download that video that program you will see the descriptions and in the end thank you very much for watch my video please subscribe my channel like my video and click the bell icons and don't forget to read the description in the descriptions i give links of my that programs of uh, factory io scenes or uh, in ta portals and uh, it's also an scada tutorials which is called wincc scada ignition scada indosoft scada tia portals uh, commands tutorials as well hmi tutorials as well so if you want to learn watch my video and thank you very much again for watch my video